Hello, everybody. My name is Benny, and welcome to The Fool's Apprentice. Again, we have my one-card tarot study, and I have Jason here today, and we're going to be doing the sun card. Hey, Jason, how are you? Hi, everyone. Hi, Benny. Thank you so much for having me here. I got yeah. all dressed up for you. Uh, when you <laughs> came on camera, I could not stop laughing. I think that's amazing. I love it. Uh, do you know... Uh, because I love that it represents the sun, but do you know about me and, and sunflowers? No, I don't. What's go what's with you and the sunflowers? I can't stand that. <laughs> oh no, I gotta take it off. Oh no. No, leave it on. But I think that's so hilarious. People in the tarot community who know how I feel about sun cards are gonna think this is amazing because this is great. I love this. Oh, so you just don't like them in general, or do you have like a history? No, I just think they're ugly. They're like <laughs> they're like a weed with a a, a, a blossom in. Now I will say that the little baby ones, I think those are cute. Not all some flowers are ugly. There's some some flowers in certain cards that I think are are pretty, uh, but generally speaking, I just think like. Uh, <laughs> If I had known, I wouldn't have worn this. But hey, no, I know. I love that you're wearing it. I think it's anything, great. Anything to put on a uh, smile on your face. So, <laughs> Dude, this is great. It really speaks to your personality because I've watched your videos, and I think I mean, should I? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised that you have the sunflower on. <laughs> oh, so, good. So, will you introduce yourself to everybody? Absolutely. Everyone, of course, as Benny said, my name is Jason. I have a YouTube channel here called Terror by the Pines. Of course, I suggest you check me out and see if you like my content. Um, but I've been dabbling in the tarot realm since 2019, pre-Panini. So I've gotten on the bandwagon before all these other folks after the Panini. So, um, but yeah, uh, tarot, it's, it's definitely a passion for me. It's something that um, I go to to help relax and just like center myself and it's just been a great um, tool and resource for me to, you know, um, get out of the hustle and bustle of the everyday life. Now, on, and where are you located? I am located in Alexandria, Virginia, which is about maybe a hopscotch from Washington, D.C. Okay. Now, on a side note, you were one of the channels that I highlighted in uh, channels that had less than a thousand subscribers. Have you? I'm suspecting you've surpassed a thousand subscribers by now. Have you not? Yes, and thank you for doing that. That's so sweet of you. Um, yeah, you, you were about three or four away from getting a thousand. But I really love your content. I love your sense of humor. I like how you present. Uh, yourself in the tarot on your channel. So I, I just had to. So uh, I'm glad that it's a big deal to go over a thousand. It is. It is. And I don't know. When I first started doing YouTube, I think the the eligible, eligible, the requirements to like make any type of like revenue or something was you have to get a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. But I think that's recently changed. Like you have to have also something else. And I'm like, huh, okay, well, I won't make it. So it's okay. I do it for fun. So it I think matter. it's uh, how many hours uh, you have had people watch your content. But I, I passed a thousand subscribers. Uh, so that's exciting. But I don't yes. worry about monetization. That's not my thing. I do this because I really love it and it's fun. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously, considering your garb, we are here to discuss the Sun card. <laughs> Yes. So what Ryder uh, Smith clone do you have? Um, I recently, well, funny thing, ben, Benny, I hate the traditional artwork for an RWS, mm -hmm. but this past few weeks, I've started acquiring traditional RWS decks. Okay. So the one um, I recently just got is the Radiant Rider Weight. Mm -hmm. So I'm using that version of the Sun card. Okay, and I got the Neo Rider. Oh, I like those colors. I know, that's the reason I got this, is that the colors are amazing. They're very saturated. They're beautiful. Yeah, because yeah. like, with like most of the RWS decks, the artwork is very like uh, blurry or kind mm -hmm. of, uh, they're kind of, you know, kind of grainy. So you can't really yeah. see 
of the little details and the symbol. So I'm very drawn to the more, um, you know, glamorized versions of the traditional artwork because I find it very stuffy, like yeah. the traditional artwork. But now I've grown to appreciate it as I get older, you know? <laughs> yeah, there's one. I have like three clones. I have this one. Then I have two others. Um, I can't think of the names of them. One of them is done in watercolor, which is really beautiful. And then oh. the other kind of like antique tea stain kind of. Uh, but this is by far my favorite. So tell me what this card means and represents for you. So fun fact, um, I know this is very controversial, but when I first started dabbling in the tarot, I did not like the sun card. <laughs> What? I, I well, so when I first started, I was looking at the imagery and seeing a naked baby on a horse. I'm like, what does this mean? What <laughs> what is going on here? Like, yeah, all for like nudity <laughs> and stuff. But like this naked baby on a horse with a flag and the sun just beaming on its, you know. I'm like, what is this? Um, but as I've started reading more books and doing more research about it, um, I've come to the conclusion that the sun card is probably one of my favorites it's is it it kind of corresponds to like the six of cups for me which i know we're going very far into the tarot but the sun represents to mm -hmm. me is like having fun just mm -hmm. doing stuff that you really enjoy and that joy will radiate to others to also do what they love to do be yourself be authentic and have fun life is short you know like I love that. I love the sun now. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I really didn't like the sun because I cannot stand those sunflowers. And this kid, when I first saw it, creeped me out. I'm like, okay, this is right? this is really creepy. However, yeah. <laughs> uh, there are other cards that have children on them that I think are really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> now, I'm just going to go into a little bit of symbology just for a second when it comes to the child, because we talked about or talking about it. Is this child for me represents um, childlike joy, childlike excitement, exuberance, you know, because little kids talk like I have a two year old nephew right now who was here this weekend. I adore him. He's my favorite person in the world. And watching him just running around laughing you know it it's that that's what the sun this little child represents is this kid he can he runs around my house he likes oh my god oh, he's learned how to play guns and rob uh you know we'll shoot guns around each other and i'm like he's two what are we doing here uh but he has a great time he likes to do wrestling he loves dinosaurs uh -huh. um, and what I love about the card is with this child is that in those moments, you could just be really present and enraptured by the happiness and joy of what this card can mean. Uh, and talk about living in a very present, present moment. Like that's the best way to, to live it. Um, oh my gosh. I'm thinking, should I say this out loud or not? I'm going to, I'm going to think about it because it's, adult uh it's adult an adult thing but for me this card really is about that joyous moment the happiness the abundance that life can bring it's like you know it's like when i leave my home you know my home you know i'm uh it feels That's your bubble right yeah. and so then all of a sudden i go outside and the sun is bright and there are literally birds chirping and they're uh, flowers are blossoming it's that like wow it's a beautiful day today and you just feel good that's what the sun card uh is for me is those moments yeah and um also I, as i but as i was preparing for this uh recording i was reading more books about the mm -hmm. sun because i was like, mm -hmm. let me do a little bit of homework and I found out that like it also provides like some clarity because at before the sun card is the moon where the moon also do not like the moon card <laughs> <laughs> because it is a very interesting and mysterious card and it talks about like you know going within and looking at the dark side and where the sun kind of yes 
And with the Sun card, it kind of illuminates everything and it just provides more clarity. Um, but yeah, the Sun card as as kind of like given a new light in terms like of recently of my the meaning behind it and how I kind of like relate to it, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the Sun card either like if it comes up in a reading is like good things are about to happen or mm -hmm. things aren't as bad as you think they are. Or things are going to change or you're not appreciating, you know, what's going on in your life right now. Uh, Cause life is great. Life is good. Life is like, this is almost like the 10 of cups in the sense of, you know, 10 of cups means you've reached the pinnacle of your life. Everything's great. Everything's beautiful. Here's about a moment of time right now. Things are going to either turn great or things are great. Or that idea that you want to do is going to turn out fantastic. Do it. But it's this, it's this like, you're just glad to be alive. Like everything's in its place. Your relationship is good. Work is great. You wake up with feeling refreshed. You're healthy. Like food tastes amazing. You know, that's what this card all encompasses for me. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And also when I was uh, reading more books about it, I didn't realize the four sunflowers in the background. Yeah. They represent the minor arcana the four elements. Oh, I've never like, heard that. that cool? Yeah, I didn't know that either. I was like, oh, that's a fun little nugget to pick up from a book. So uh, I learned that the, the sun, the sun cards deals with uh, spirituality, uh, you know, and blossoming spiritually and whatever you're doing. Uh, like, let me see if I can, like, it's a like the bigger spiritual universal world is approving with wh where your life is and the decisions that you're making and the things that you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I but love I've that. Never heard. My phone is going off. <laughs> I forgot to put it. I bet it's my mother. Let me see. Is it my mother? I bet it's my mother. Oh, it's not. Okay. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I didn't have it on mute. Um, no, okay. So any other than the sunflower and the child, any other symbology that you use on this or you don't use symbology very much? I typically do not use symbology when I'm looking at the tarot. I kind of like go off of my memorization of what the core meaning mm -hmm. of it is. And then if I don't really relate to the core meaning, I, I just think of something on my own that kind of fits the the essence of that card so for like the sun i mean when i go back to like having fun and just doing what you enjoy and that that you being so joyful and encompassing what you like to do yeah. that brings joy to others it may not totally relate to what the sore i mean the sun means but it has a special place in my um uh understanding of the card yeah because it is a Oh. Yeah, the thing that I've learned about tarot is it has its meanings. But mm. what what I heard and early on in my studies is that as long as you're consistent with the meanings of what the cards are for you, mm -hmm. you're using the tarot correctly for yourself. Uh, I don't think there's no, well, th this could be controversial. Don't come after me. Uh, <laughs> it's... Um, you know, the card means what it means to you, and that's it. If it means yeah. something different, it means something different than everybody else. But if it works for you and it works in the readings that you're doing, then it works. Exactly. So, exactly. As long as you can pick it up and read with it, I mean, you're doing it the correct way. Um, now, the flag for me is just about, like, this celebration, you know. It's mm -hmm. like that that moment where like a kite is in the sky and it's just going with the wind, you know, it's just this fun moment. So like a sense of celebration, the sun is really um, about how thing being optimistic, being open to things turning out right, that things are going to turn out well. Um, I've also read or heard, because, you know, I do my books and I do the videos where people talk about the sun card or any card um, about it being um, the, 
the part of spirituality that's letting you know that you're doing the right thing. I don't know if mm -hmm. I'm really big on that part. Uh, but for me, it's about when I think of the sun, I think about a good day. That's really how yes. I see the sun, that it's going to be a good day. Uh, now, the sun can turn on you and be a very hot, sweaty day because the sun could kill. Uh, yes. Do you do any reversals with this card? I do not read reversals, okay. um, but I'm curious to know your thoughts about the reversal meaning of the sun, because I've heard that it could virtually mean um, what it means upright when it's reversed. So I'd like to hear what you think about that. Okay, so I don't read reversals, but what I do read is when I use how the person asks the question, their, their, the tone of voice, their body language, that energy that I'm feeling. I look at the cards and then I just really follow my intuition. So a lot of my readings, if there is like a reverse kind of aspect to it, it's really like warning signs, like you really need to be mindful. Um, mm. So here it would be like, okay, you're being very pessimistic and there's no reason for it. You know, good things are happening, but instead of enjoying those moments, you are uh, grumbling and complaining about the things that you're not happy with. Because let's be frank, everybody's going to have something in life that isn't perfect, but it shouldn't overshadow all these wonderful, beautiful things that are happening in your life. So right. instead of looking at the half glass empty, why don't you just be grateful that you have a glass and be happy and joyous? Because, you know... You, there's potential still in your life. So it's really about not really being present and enjoying what's going on. So that's how I would see the reversal aspect of it. I love that. I wish I had more of a brain to learn all the reversals because <laughs> it took me forever to learn the upright meanings. And then it just, it, it gives me kind of a headache to think of like, oh, well, what's the reverse meaning of this? When I like to do tarot, Benny, I like the 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 meanings to come out like this. But right. when I have a report pop up, I'm like, oh, I have to think about it. I'm like, ah. But yeah, I wish I had more patience and more of a brain to encompass all of the the reversal meanings. You can if you can do the uprights, you can do the reversals. But I don't think the reversals have to be just like the opposite of what the card means upright. Like there's so much nuance that can occur with both upright and reversals. And for me, I have a general idea of what a reversal would be, quote unquote, uh, even though I don't read them. But it really, for me, it will come up when it needs to. Um, and I just follow the reading. I just follow the reading and where it goes and where it lands is what I read. And sometimes it is, Mine can be very subtle, like warning signs to like, if you don't fucking pay attention, you're going to be bit in the face and you're not going to like the outcome. Uh, oh, yeah. so, but also this card is really about the present moment for me. It's like, be present in your life because uh, yeah. you're going you're gonna to miss the things that, you know, you're, you're supposed to enjoy. Yeah, time flies and it, it does not stop for you. So might as well be in the moment. <laughs> yeah. So what is your favorite sun card? Okay, I'm glad you asked because now that we're kind of like in the season, um, my favorite sun card is actually from the Trick or Treat Tarot. Oh my God, that's just, I never would have guessed. Yeah, so this so you i would probably, probably think the golden girls or uh the the witch one that you love so much um yes yeah uh, everyday witch. yes yes so you probably will not like this one either benny okay but it, oh my God. <laughs> it has a person dressed up as a sunflower oh my god um, i love this and they have like a halloween cake and if I may, if I can read the the book meaning. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it was really, it's really cool of how they talked about the sun in this. Okay. So I'm up here. Okay, let's see. All right, here we go. Most people with birthdays around Christmas don't like it because their special day gets a little lost. But have you ever heard a Halloween birthday person complain? Unlike the Christmas babies, they seem to feel like Halloween is a big old party 
all for them. When this card comes up, happiness is coming your way. All that talk about birthdays is because it's a good way to explain what this card means. It feels like the best, most perfect birthday ever. This is one of the simplest cards of tarot, and it represents all the sunny, uplifting emotions and experiences in life. On a less thrilling note, it can also mean clarity. So if you've been uncertain or unlost, the sun will burn away the clouds of confusion. Another cool thing this card does is improve and brighten all other cards around it. It gives your whole reading a little boost, like an espresso shot of joy. I love that. You know, um, as you were reading and I'm thinking about this, there's this phrase uh, that I really love. It's like, live every day like it's your birthday. Yes. Yeah. So when I, I think of that, that, yeah, I think I saw that card. You're doing the reading, and that that just popped up. But yeah. oh my gosh, I think that's that's funny as hell that you have your son, and it's it's representing his <laughs> favorite card. You so brought such a smile on my, into my face. Thank okay. you so much. Of course. What's your favorite son? Okay, it's from this deck. When I saw this son, I was like blown away. It is really really beautiful it's called the akulai akultati tarot wow this sun card is stunning stunning oh, i do like the the black and white uh, the all the major arcana in this deck are black and white i like i could literally pick multiple cards from this deck as saying they're my favorite but i love the like this the magical feeling of this card. I love just, I don't know, it, this just feels like a very happy, like, uh, it just feels very spiritual and serene. And oh, and you know how I was talking about um, like the approval from something bigger or spiritual or, you know, like yeah. for Christians, like God's approval. If you look at this card, at the top, you'll see this woman right there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's like she's looking down upon you, blessing you for, you know, the, the life journey that you're going on right now and the decisions oh. that you're making. And if oh, you look, God. you will see the sunflowers right there. Oh, yeah. So it has like everything that. that you need on here. And yeah. what I... Also, like, is you, you see the ribbon uh, on this, like, you see the ribbon of the flag, oops, the flag, and then you see the face of the sun, like, she's the face of the sun with the rays coming down. So everything you need is in this card. Oh, I love that. It is such, such a beautiful card. There isn't... What does the back look thing. like? Huh? What does the back look like? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it, it is an amazing deck. Um, in fact, it was my second out of print deck that I purchased. <clears throat> that uh, and it was also uh, the first deck that I paid what I consider a substantial amount of money for. <clears throat> and I took a leap of faith because a woman from Australia <clears throat> was selling it. <clears throat> and actually, this deck has borders, but she had cut the borders, and I think they're beautiful, just like this. Oh yeah. I like so, it like that. Beautiful. Well, Jason, thank you so much for coming on. This this was such a fun. Uh, and you know what? The energy that you brought to this is really the energy of the sun card. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've laughed. I'm glowing from the inside out. I can feel my muscles in my face from smiling. So this is this has been a wonderful, wonderful chat. Oh, good. Thank you, Benny. Yeah, I always appreciate coming on your channel. It's always interesting and it's just a good time, you know? <laughs> you know what? Uh, we'll talk afterwards. I have something I want to talk to you about. But okay. everyone, thank you so much for coming by. Uh, Jason, thank you for this uh, sunflower. I may look at sunflowers differently. Likely not. But uh, today I can say I like the sunflower. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Y'all have a good day. Thank you.